Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you how to fix the WSL register distribution failed with error 0x8037014 on Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to restart the vCompute service. To do this, press the Windows button then simply type security and then select Windows security from the search results. Now in here, click on app and browser control and then scroll down until you find the exploit protection category and click on the exploit protection settings. Now click on program settings and scroll way, way down until you will find the VM Compute Exe app. Now click on edit and the last thing you have to do in here is scroll down to control low guard or CFG and uncheck the box next to override system settings. So if it's selected, make sure to uncheck it. Now just click on apply, close this window and then right click your windows button and select terminal as an administrator. And the last thing you have to do is to restart this service. So make sure to copy paste the following command from the description below. Now press your enter, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to disable Hyper-V. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type turn Windows features on or off and select it from the search results. Now in here, make sure to locate Hyper-V and simply deselect the box next to it. Now you can click on OK and you will be prompted to restart your computer. Afterwards, if you want to make sure that Hyper-V is completely disabled, just click on the start button, type in CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. And in here, copy paste the following command that I posted in the description below. Afterwards, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to enable the virtual machine platform. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then simply type turn Windows features on or off and select it from the search result and then scroll way down until you find the virtual machine platform and tick the box next to it. Now click on OK and you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it! Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching and have a nice day!